all pro quarterback. I think it was a bit of a down year for the quarterback position. When you look at first team all pro in the past, Aaron Rodgers, 48 touchdowns to five interceptions, an extremely high standard. This year's quarterbacks fallen a bit short this year. I'm going to give my honourable mention to Josh Allen. He's the only quarterback that had over 40 touchdowns this year. I think what has stopped me, though, is the turnovers. But there's no doubt in my mind there's no one more valuable to their team right now than Josh Allen. All-pro quarterback is going to go to Lamar Jackson. Yes, the numbers don't necessarily speak to your traditional first-team all-pro quarterback. 29 touchdowns to seven interceptions watch the film and you'll see just how great he is he makes big plays he makes defenses look stupid new offensive coordinator there was growing pains at the start of the year they certainly finished strong and he's peaked at the right time all pro running back it's not really close to be honest honorable mentions do go out to the lions duo david montgomery and jameer gibbs what an amazing year they both had but there's a clear winner here First team all pro running back is Christian McCaffrey, over 2,000 total scrimmage yards, 21 touchdowns for me. He is the MVP this year. Um, I think Paul said it best. The 49ers had an elite run game, but then they decided to add an elite running back into that elite running game. And we've just seen an explosion of offense. He has taken this offense to the next level. What a season for run CMC. Uh, definitely all pro running back this year. All pro wide receiver, honorable mentions, my man Brandon Ayuk, the number one separator in the NFL, Amon Ra St. Brown eclipsing 1,500 yards, Mike Evans, his 10th 1,000 receiving yard season, Justin Jefferson, who reached 1,000 receiving yards, missing seven games. He's the best receiver in the NFL. So on to my selections, Puka Nakua, who set the rookie record for receptions and receiving yards. There was no Cooper cup in the first half of the season he stepped up from day one cd lamb who set franchise records in receptions and receiving yards he does work through the slot a lot but he's proven that he can play on the outside as well tyreek hill the most dangerous receiver in the nfl he was well on track to break the record that is still held by the great calvin megatron johnson but he did have 13 touchdowns tied with mike evans for the most easily all pro this year all pro tight end oh i've got to give a special shout out to my man sam laporta what a season for the rookie tight end 81 receptions just short of 900 receiving yards and 10 touchdowns only three other rookies can say they've done that odell beckham jr jamar chase michael thomas that's quite a club to be in but he does not win all pro it is for me my man george kittle a thousand yard season Something like 15 yards per reception. So you you can see just how dangerous Kittle is, you know, even after the catch. Like, he is devastating. I think what separates him from Sam Laporta right now, this guy loves to dominate in the blocking game. You can just look at the numbers with Kittle and without Kittle. I do, you know, appreciate how great Kelsey is. You can say I'm biased. I think Kittle is the best tight end in the league and he's definitely shown it this year all pro offensive line and evaluation is not my strong point but what i do know is just how dominant this left tackle is trent williams one of the best left tackles to ever play the game great size but he's got great speed as well if you look at the 49ers offensive line i think if you took him off it would look quite a bit different my left guard quinton nelson he's not the force that he once was but he has only allowed one sack uh, this year. Center, Jason Kelsey, the conductor of the Brotherly Shove Orchestra. Key play, that overtime game against the Bills. He made the key block um, that allowed Jalen Hurts to run it in for the game-winning touchdown. At right guard, Zach Martin. And at right tackle, Lane Johnson. A uh, standout performance against the 49ers. The way that he shut down Nick Bosa and Chase Young that night. I was highly impressed and I continue to be impressed with him. And last of all, um, I'm going to start my campaign to the Associated Press. Please, you've got to start recognising fullback as a position. 
you recognise every other position in the league. And we have got a very, very special uh, fullback in the NFL who has been basically robbed of all pro status for the last four or five years. It is, of course, Kyle Juszczyk of the 49ers, the can-do, uh, everything fullback. He can block. I mean, he's an elite blocker. He brings just as much to the table, really, as Kittle in that department. But he can catch. He can run routes. He will stiff arm you. I want him to get the recognition he deserves. In my All-Pro team, fullback, Kyle Juszczyk. All-Pro defensive line is led by the one-man wrecking crew that is Miles Garrett. I think he had 14 sacks on the year. That doesn't speak to how dominant he was. Standout performance of the year for me against the Colts. He had two sacks, two forced fumbles. One was a strip sack fumble recovered for a touchdown. He had a blocked field goal in that game. My goodness, what a great player. Trey Hendrickson, 17 and a half sacks. I mean, this guy definitely moves the needle. Look at the Saints now without him. He was their spark. He's definitely brought a lot to the table for the Bengals. I know how great Aaron Donald is, all-time great. Justin Madabike, 13 sacks, 12 tackles for loss, two forced fumbles. This guy, week four or five, just flashed in the film for me. Big and fast. Everything that it encompasses to be a Baltimore Raven is this guy right here. All pro outside linebacker, it has to be TJ Watt. He might be the best defensive player in the NFL. He led the league in sacks for a third season. That is a record with 19. But this guy is much more than sacks. He can do everything. He had eight pass defenses, an interception, four force fumbles, three fumble recoveries, uh, he makes the Steelers probably look a bit better than they actually are. He's that great. I will give an honourable mention to Josh Allen. 17 and a half sacks. A great year for him. But I'm going to go with Micah Parsons. Yes, he had less sacks. 14 of them. Two forced fumbles. But he's what makes the Cowboys defence go, in my opinion. He's the spark. The thing that stood out to me was when the Eagles played the 49ers and then the Cowboys the following week. Micah Parsons gave Lane Johnson much, much more trouble than Nick Bosa did. All pro inside linebacker. It has to start with Fred Warner. He is the best inside linebacker in the game. 132 tackles, two and a half sacks, four interceptions, four forced fumbles. He's the 49ers defensive leader and he leads by example. His performance of the year is very easy against the Cowboys. He had a forced fumble, a sack and an interception all in the first half. That really set the tone for that blowout. It was hard to leave out Patrick Queen, but it is his partner in crime, Roquan Smith, an absolute tackling machine. He was already playing at an all-pro level in a struggling Bears defense, but he gets traded to the Ravens. Are you kidding me? This is a match made in heaven. And they didn't really give up that much for him. I think it was a second, a fifth, and a player. All pro cornerback. Honorable mention, Jalen Ramsey, one of my favorite players. Just look at the Dolphins before he came back from injury and after he's come back. He has made a massive difference, but I couldn't be biased. He's only played half the season. I can't believe I'm starting off with this but it's going to be Charvarius Ward. Ever since uh, Hufunga tore his ACL against the Buccaneers, Charvarius Ward decided, I'm going to step up. He shut down DK Metcalf twice. He contained AJ Brown. He's got five interceptions, one of which being his first career pick six against Kyler Murray. I'm going to give it to Deron Bland. Like He definitely has had some difficult moments, some learning moments, but... I just couldn't ignore league-leading nine interceptions, a record-breaking five pick-sixes. That's the most ever in a single season. All-pro safety. I can't give it to my favourite player at this position. The best safety in the NFL, Minka Fitzpatrick. He has missed a lot of games this year. Strong safety, Kyle Hamilton. This is a superstar in the making for the Ravens. Four interceptions, three sacks. 10 
tackles for loss, and of course, the highlight game for him against the 49ers on Christmas Day. He had two interceptions in that game. At free safety, um, I'm going to give it to Jesse Bates. 132 tackles, six interceptions, one of which was a pick six on Derek Carr in a game that they needed that moment against the Saints. They won that game. Uh, he's had three forced fumbles, three tackles for loss, 11 pass defenses. He's definitely improved the Falcons. And you look at the Bengals without him, they're 31st in total yards allowed. They've taken a step back without him.